Welcome back to John's Films. It's come to my attention in my last video, though I advertised that I would show you how to set up RTX Voice in DaVinci Resolve, I never actually did. Truth is, that footage is on the cutting room floor. My bad. Alright, let's rectify that in about a minute and a half here. First thing you're going to do to set up RTX Voice in DaVinci Resolve, go download RTX Voice. You can get it in the link below. And specifically, if you scroll down here, it's the first step in the setup guide. So you download that executable, you run it, and it will install RTX Voice for you. Once it's installed, you can run it and open it up. This is what it looks like. RTX Voice will give you an option for all of your input devices and all of your output devices. You click on it and choose which one do you actually want to record on. So in this case, I'm going to set it up to record on my Jabra speakerphone. And that's just because I'm using the Audient interface for my recording through OBS at the moment. So you'll set that up by saying, hmm, okay, I want to select whatever my microphone is. And the output device for Resolve doesn't really matter. You're not going to be routing your audio back through here. Now that we have RTX Voice installed, we jump over to DaVinci Resolve. Here in Resolve, I have a timeline and I have one media item added to my timeline. Let's check something very quickly up in the DaVinci Resolve and Preferences menu. What you do not want is what I've got configured here. I'm going to reconfigure this so that I've got my typical speakers. Usually I'd use headphones, but we'll just go with the speakers at the moment. Because you don't want to mask with RTX Voice what's coming out of DaVinci Resolve. You need to be able to hear what your actual output is. So I've got that turned over to my typical speakers or headphones. Next, I'm going to come over to my Fairlight tab and configure my audio input for recording. Now, my footage has audio on track one. I'm going to right click in this space over here and click Add Track. I chose a mono track because it'll be a single source for both ears and I'm going to record by using the No Input button over here under track A2 because that's the track I want to record the audio on. I click no input, choose input, and here's where I'm going to patch. And this is kind of the idea of physically plugging cables in. I'm going to plug them into the RTX voice input. So make sure those are highlighted. And I'm going to tie them to audio track 2 over here by making sure it's highlighted. And click patch. Now I've told DaVinci Resolve to pick up the audio from RTX voice. And I've told DaVinci Resolve to record the audio coming off of that device that I've patched through the panel to this track by clicking R for record here on the track timeline monitor. Finally, to actually record, I would click this button and now I'm able to record voiceover here and it's running through RTX voice. Well, how do we know that? I'm gonna go back to RTX voice, bring it back up and you can see echo canceling speakerphone is selected. So you have to create a chain, and that chain goes from your actual device to RTX to Voice, and from RTX Voice into DaVinci Resolve. Now, if I want to turn on and off the noise canceling features, you would just use the noise suppression slider, or just turn it off entirely here in RTX Voice. And that is how you set up RTX Voice in DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.